name is Ronald Vyas and this video is a collaboration with Programming Knowledge. In this video, we'll solve Move Zero's lead code question 283. So this is a very popular uh, array question because this deals uh, with a very basic data structure which is arrays and uh, it doesn't require uh, the knowledge of any algorithms as such but still uh, tests you on how you can play with arrays, how you can transform them uh, and also use them in place so that you can get the optimal result which you want. So let's start uh, reading the question. So given an array nums, write a function to move all zeros to the end of it while maintaining the relative order of the non-zero elements. So let's read it again. Uh, write a function to move all zeros to the end of it while maintaining the relative order of the non-zero elements. So uh, looking at the test case here, we have 0, 1, 0, 3, 12. So we move all the zeros to the end. That is the first part of the question. And the second part is maintaining the relative order. So it has to be 1, 3, 12 in the beginning. So uh, first we have a note. So we have we don't have constraints here. So uh, something which you can ask the interviewer regarding uh, what can be the maximum size of the array. Uh, can it include negative numbers? Although it doesn't really matter if it does but uh, you can ask that and whether the size of the array can be empty whether the uh, array can have only one element which is zero or non-zero uh, things like that to actually get the question a bit less amb ambiguous and uh, you'll have much more information to work with so we just have two important operations here so one is that you must do this in place without making a copy of the array and second is to minimize the total number of operations so first uh, since there are no constraints and then there is uh, only a note, uh, what you can do is start with a very simple brute force solution uh, which you can explain to the interviewer or also write the pseudocode for which is that uh, first what you do is just copy all the numbers which are non-zero into another array. So, you know, uh, we make copy of the array. Uh, so it's suboptimal, not optimal because we, have, we can do this in place but uh, just to, you know, uh, get the conversation going with the interviewer uh, we say that first let's copy all the elements to another array which are non-zero and then after that we just append uh, the number of zeros uh, at the end of the new array and then copy them to the original array or just return the new array. So here we have a void so we are not returning anything that means uh, the program will be checking for nums so once we make a copy uh, of the array we have to copy all the elements back to the original array. Uh, so that is how a brute force solution would work. It will still be O of n in terms of uh, time complexity, but it will also be O of n in terms of uh, space complexity. But uh, here we uh, must do this in place. So the space complexity has to be O of 1. And uh, we have to minimize the total number of operations. So let's see how we, we can do this. So uh, the first thing here is that uh, we have two parts of the question. So which is move all zeros to the end. And the other is maintain the relative order. So these two uh, can be solved uh, uh, together by itself and then we can merge them together to form uh, a complete solution. So uh, let's see how we can do this. So uh, here since we have to keep track of uh, the zero elements and non-zero elements, uh, we can go with the two-pointer technique uh, which is very common and very popular for arrays. And what we can do is we can have a slow pointer or uh, a pointer which tracks all the non-zero elements and uh, we have a fast pointer which just uh, goes through every single uh, element in the array. And what happens is that uh, the small pointer uh, always keeps track of the non-zero elements and populates the array in such way. So uh, let's say that we have uh, 0, 1, sorry, 1, 0, 3, 12. So we'll have a small, uh, a, a slow pointer, which uh, will start from the beginning and we have a fast pointer, which goes through every single element. So uh, the slow pointer will keep track of the non-zero elements. So uh, once we see an element, which is uh, non-zero, we append that to our slow pointer. So uh, here the first element, which is uh, non-zero is one. So we have one here and then we go to the next pointer, which is, three, uh, the non-zero element which is three, then we append that to the slow pointers, which is three here, and then 12. So we are overriding the zeros, but that's fine because we are not losing any data as such. 
uh, we can always add the zeros at the end. So first we maintain the relative order. So we finish the uh, we finish processing all the elements, keep track of the non-zero ones, and then at the end we, all we have to do is just add the zeros, which we can do at the end, and that does not require any extra space uh, to deal with. So how can we do this? So let's uh, see how we can implement this one. We have an int non zero pointer which is initially at zero then we loop through uh, our element and i is going to be the fast pointer which is going to go through every single element and process every single element for us so i equal to zero i less than nums dot size i plus plus now if we encounter an element which is not zero so if nums of i is not equal to zero then what we can do is nums of non zero pointer is going to be equal to nums of i so what we're basically essentially doing is that uh, if we encounter a non zero number then append that to our non zero pointer so that you know we override the zero with one and then all you have to do is increment the non zero pointer so non zero pointer plus plus or if you want to make the code a bit cleaner, you don't uh, need to do all this. All you can do is do a plus plus here and it'll take care of everything. So now we are here. So we have processed all elements. So we have one here, then we have three here. We have 12 here uh, when you iterate this one. And then you're stuck here. So now what you have to do is that uh, you have to uh, populate the end of the array uh, or override the end of the array with zeros. So in the intermediate uh, stage, uh, the array is going to look like this after this point. So it's going to be like 1, 3, 12, 3, 12. Because we haven't, uh, sorry, this is 12. We haven't actually done anything to the last two elements. They're still the same, uh, as you can see here. And now what we have to do is convert them to zeros. So for that, uh, what we can do is we can do another for loop. And I equal to zero, sorry, I equal to non zero pointer because the pointer is at 3 here now. The pointer is here because uh, once we add 12, we are incrementing the pointer. So the pointer is at 3 now. And pointer, we want to do this till the end because we want to move all the zeros to the right. I++. plus plus. And all you have to do now is nums of i equal to 0. And you are good to go. So the two pointer technique uh, works only till here. Uh, there is no two pointers here, just one pointer. But what we're essentially doing is that we're just uh, keeping track of the non-zero elements first. And we are main trying to maintain the relative order of the non-zero elements. And once that is done, uh, we can just populate the end of the array uh, with zeros. And that will uh, essentially uh, solve both our problems, uh, which is moving them and also maintaining the order. So this is the intermediate stage uh, this is the initial array and this is the final array so this is the first part where we are trying to maintain uh, the relative order and once we do that we get to the intermediate stage so the pointer the non pointer zero uh, keeps incrementing and we keep adding our uh, non zero elements to the uh, the beginning of the array and once this part is done all you have to do is make these two zero so we do that by this part which is moving all the zeros to the end uh, let's try and run the code now so here again uh, we are doing everything in place we just have uh, one extra uh, pointer so that's just o of one uh, we are iterating the array twice uh, but still n plus n so it's still o of n so that's uh, uh, in the note and let's see if it's what happens when we submit it. So great, we uh, have successfully solved uh, move zeros to the end. And you can definitely, uh, you should definitely check out the solutions because they have uh, multiple approaches and each approach will teach you something new regarding the question. So this was the original suboptimal thing which we talked about where we just uh, make a copy of the original array and then you know, add the non zero elements first and then uh, move all the zeros later. Then again, copy it back to the original array. The next is how you would actually do this one. You have two pointers and then 
another want which you have is an optimal want where instead of uh, you know doing both of this at one uh, where you know you ignore uh, the or you override them uh, override the zeros what here you do is you just swap them with the slow pointer so instead of doing all of this uh, you don't need this you don't need this as well so we are not doing anything to the zeros we're just swapping them and once you swap them you increment the counter and then you keep doing that for all of all the elements so as you can see we just do a nums of non zero pointer plus plus uh, with nums of five and that should by itself uh, take care of all the zeros uh, in the end and keep swapping them unless you reach the end so yeah that is how we solve move zeros uh, which is a very popular interview question so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one